Well, howdy friends, Brian Flushing of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools. And I'm here today uh, to teach you the proper way to put a fly rod together. Yeah, believe it or not, there's a right way and a wrong way for putting a fly rod together. And uh, this is something that I teach in our basic knots and rigging class. Uh, I also teach this in our basic fly casting classes. And it's amazing to me uh, how many people that have actually been fishing for years and years uh, do this the wrong way. Um, so uh, the first thing that I do is I'm going to put the reel on. And you probably know how to do that. And then <clears throat> the number one thing is that I always start with the tip of the fly rod. I'm going to put the tip on to the, to the third section of the rod. Most people that do this, they start with the butt of the rod. And so you put the butt together and then you gotta lay it on the ground and you gotta walk out here. Um, this way, if you're putting it together uh, by the tip, you're always working in this comfortable workspace, okay? So you get good purchase, you can get a good grip on the rod. In fact, this little workspace, you're gonna hear me talk a lot about it. Whether you're tying flies and when you see us tying flies we're always in this little nice little workspace um, when I'm tying knots I'm always going to be right here in this comfortable workspace where my arms are hanging comfortably if I'm eating dinner believe me my plate is right here in this comfortable workspace it's not off to the side I don't have to get up uh, to go take a bite of food, it's right here. Whether you're needle pointing, crocheting, whatever, uh, this comfortable workspace right here in front of you. And when I start uh, doing some cast fly casting stuff here on our YouTube channel, you'll see that my fly cast is also done in this workspace, but that, that'll come later. Um, most people, when they go to put a rod together, they, um, you know, some rods have these alignment dots okay if your rod doesn't have alignment dots I'm just guessing you'll still be able to figure out how to get the guides lined up um, but usually they line up those line up the guides or line up the alignment dots and they jam it straight down until it starts to tighten and then you push a little extra of course because you don't want it to come apart well guess what that rod is still gonna come apart okay over the course of casting and the torque of the line uh, you know, worse yet, this thing comes apart when you're catching a fish. So you can prevent that from happening forever and ever and ever. And when you uh, don't line it up, come about a quarter of a turn off, okay? I've got this guide about a quarter of a turn off. I'm going to slide it down until I start to feel it catch. And then I'm going to twist and push. So I twist it into position. Make sure, I'm sure some critics will say that you're putting undue stress on your guides. Just don't, okay? Um, but if you twist it into position, that quarter of a turn, twisting it clockwise, that rod is not ever going to come apart, okay? And then, to t and then to do get it apart, just twist it counterclockwise, and it comes right off, okay? So quarter of a turn off till you start to feel it catch, and then continue kind of tightening and twist it into position and that rod will never come apart on you okay and then I'm gonna do this one twist it into position and then here you're gonna twist it into position and then I'm, I'm working right here in this comfortable zone twist it into position my rod doesn't have an alignment dot for some reason here on the last one and that way I can line it up with the reel and off you go this is useful. You can do this if you're putting a rod together in a boat or a kayak or a canoe. You see, I didn't have to give, get up from my seated position. And then I can untwist, untwist. And that's the proper way to put a fly rod together. Just, just a side note, there's a couple of companies, I won't mention any names, but a couple of companies that with their fly rods, they sell you feral wax. And whatever you do, please, on modern graphite fly rods, don't put wax on your fly rod, for crying out loud. Okay? You don't need it if you do this properly. What happens is that wax, I don't need to tell you, it's going to build up on the female part of that ferrule. It's going to eventually affect how that fits together. 
and you're going to wind up breaking the rod right there at that at that junction at the ferrule so don't put wax or any silly kind of anything on there you don't need it twist it a quarter of a turn and it's never going to come apart so thanks for tuning in be sure to follow along with our youtube channel click that little icon there so that our videos show up on a regular basis we appreciate you listening and stay tuned